Yo, what it is, what it is, your boy Christian Blanz, and I'm about to get my T1 in. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Ready to get the colgate smile, you know? <laughs> Oh, I do have some business lines. So yeah, I, I noticed. Yeah, we're going to reach around here. So you're coming from Pomona? Yeah, from Pomona. Okay, well, thank yeah. you for coming. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> have you ever had your teeth whitened like before? Once. How was that experience? It was, cool. yeah, yeah. It was I mean, good? Yeah, it was good. Okay. Um, and you're in Invisalign right now. Mm -hmm. How much time is mm -hmm. left in it? They just give me another set of trays. I think 10 more trays. Okay. So, it's so I exchange them every two weeks. So yeah. Probably like five more months. And everything else is healthy? Uh, yeah. Not? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you know, you know we got the aguita, pura aguita bendita. Sure. This ain't no shots, no patron like yesterday, but this is water. That's a patron shot. This pretends a patron shot. <laughs> We're gonna do some in-office teeth whitening for him. He's currently in Invisalign. Sometimes when you're in Invisalign, things get a little bit more stained easily. Like if you're drinking something and you don't take your trays off, you know, it can just hold in the tray and penetrate the teeth and stain them. So it's nice to just get a little refresher. Even if you're not an Invisalign, whitening your teeth really does help, you know, boost the color and brighten everything up. And it's a really simple in-office procedure painless. I have a special formula and so it just makes the process go a lot more simple than uh, like other offices do um, when they do their in-office whitening and some people can have sensitivity. I find that like mine doesn't really cause sensitivity and it's it's comfortable like that you just watched Netflix for an hour and you get up to two shades whiter. So Awesome is this you know I'm gonna get my tea wine in so that way I can match my shirt you know. Well, we got the TV right here so I can watch my favorite show, you know? What's your actually, favorite? no. We're going to put our YouTube channel on there so we can watch the vlogs. I'm just watching myself on the screen. You're going to watch yourself. <laughs> we can do that. All right. So I'm just going to take a close-up picture of your teeth, okay? One, four. Let's see. Go like this, huh? <laughs> That's a signature. What? That's a signature code. <laughs> Over there. Mm -hmm. um, have you been in it? Oh, maybe a year now. I'm not sure. Cause first I had braces. Yeah. And then I moved to SoCal, and then I try to find, I try to switch. Like, and dentist. Then, yeah, dentist. Yeah. And then they recommended me Invisalign, just cause I guess it's quicker. Uh huh. But yeah, and it's and making then a big difference. Right here, uh, my chip too. Yep. Yeah, right there. So then, literally recently, I think they like grinded, like filed it a little bit. Filed it, yeah, yeah. It'll because this was more, it was like mas oh, oh, oh. Mas oh. <laughs> oh yeah, you know. Yeah, but the filling, like mm -hmm. this is a piece of filling that someone did at some point. Well, that was like years ago. Yeah. This is I not going to like, change color, but. It won't change color, huh? No, because yeah. it's just like a different color of filling mm -hmm. and it's just stained. That's really I worry about a lot about that. Honestly, is there a way can, like we can. I can change that yeah. for you, yeah. Because I got that maybe I was in elementary school, maybe. Mm -hmm. Or junior high or something. I don't know. So here's the deal. Because I do a lot of cosmetic dentistry. That's, so every time I do any dentistry, I'm thinking of like how to make it look better, basically, is what cosmetic is. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking when you're done with your tray, can you come back so I can change that out? Yeah. Yeah, because even today, if we were to change it out, there's two problems. Number one, if I want to make it a little bit different, mm -hmm. it's not going to fit into the Visalign trays you have now. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, and so I'd have to make it exactly the same, and maybe exactly the same and not the right shape, because mm -hmm. it's not the same shape as this one. Mm -hmm. See how this one goes up a little bit? Yeah. This one's like flat. Yeah, and when you get whitened, the teeth look really bright at first because they've been dehydrated for like an hour, mm -hmm. but it settles like a week later. So I would want to do it a week after today, but when you're done with your tray, so like 10 weeks or whenever you're done, okay. come back so I can fix it okay, cool. and make it match. Yeah, and then if you're not 
happy happy? Like, are you happy with the smile so far? No, not really. So I, that's really, I really care about my teeth. Like, I really want like, a perfect smile. At one point, I was trying to get like, uh, can you say it? Veneers? Do you even to... know who I am? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know if I should get them now or like later, later, like when I get older, you know? I mean, I know you're not here for veneers, but like looking at this and knowing that you're already in Invisalign, that you're whitening your teeth, I know that you want to make it better. I just want them to be like super, super white and like, and then just like perfect. Perfect, because the symmetry, <clears throat> even though Invisalign's going to get the bite straight and more aligned and more comfortable, it's not going to make them symmetrical. It's not going to change I mean, like, the shape. Right here, like, yeah, I think the here. gum right here, like the teeth, this one, this mm -hmm. one looks a lot smaller than this one. Why is that? Yep, and this one's kicked out. Why it's like just genetic or it could also be that in the past you used to grind this tooth a little bit more like maybe you grind this way and that's why you have well that's why you would have a chip on the right side of this tooth so it's like everything's a puzzle in your mouth and so like you can find out like you can play detective so maybe you've worn down this tooth a little bit more this one looks like it's kicked out yeah i mean we should put you in veneers because i don't think you're going to be satisfied because at 10 weeks out, that's not much more movement. That's probably closing some spaces because you probably have like a little gap here. But even then, see how much more you show on this side than this side? And this canine's lower too. Okay, this is a good start though. Yeah. I mean, at least we <clears throat> met. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I mean. I ain't gonna lie, when I took off the braces, mm -hmm. I couldn't stop smiling. I was looking at my <laughs> mirror all the time. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I take it as a compliment when the patients fall asleep. Fun or work? Too much fun. That's great. Evan. Plus also you have like a little bit of recession on this tooth. So that's why this one also looks bigger. Because what could happen is you can get a little infection and it's called pericornitis. Mm. And oh my god, that's really painful. And then it's an emergency extraction. It hurts more like them taking it out. Yes. Hurts more. I just don't want to go through it. <laughs> I heard it looks bad. No, but that's the only way that they could have done a better job straightening your teeth. Cause see how there's like flared out a little bit, Olivia, like flared out. We need to push them in. And if we would have been able to push them in, we would have needed those wisdom teeth not to be there. Look at this one too. Sticking its little cusp out over there. You see it? Mm -hmm. uh, e, I'm sorry, but is the thing right here? I have a little cavity there. You see that? You see the... You see it? Okay. Is that a cavity? Yep. Why? Too much cavity? <laughs> <laughs> that cavity doesn't look new. It looks like it's been there for a while. So... What am I doing, buddy? Huh? What have I been doing? <laughs> <laughs> He's been trying, but I mean, maybe they're just not paying so much attention. I don't know if they're really, really yeah, busy over there. They don't like me, <laughs> Maybe they're just really busy. Is it super busy when you go? Not really. Oh, then I don't know. Now, or maybe like immediately after you get the Invisalign off, it'd be better before the Invisalign. Yeah, it, it does not. It really depends on if you're taking care of yourself the day after. Like if you're, if you smoke that night or the next day, you could get dry socket, which is really painful as well and that's just when the socket of where the tooth was extracted it doesn't heal properly because smoke goes in there and it like causes necrosis of the bone a little bit and it doesn't allow the blood clot to form so it would hurt yeah. but if you don't smoke and if you don't use any alcohol at all and you take really good care you don't do weightlifting for a couple days you just hang out watch tv take yeah, a chill yeah. so, eat ice cream <laughs> yeah, Watching. just for another day, you know, you have a good excuse to like not go anywhere. Just for like two days, you'll be I fine. Can't be home. Like, I always have to do something. Oh, you get sad. Well, you can yeah. go out. Just don't don't bend down and don't lift up anything and don't smoke and don't drink for two days, and then you'll be fine. You won't. You don't need to have pain. The pain usually comes from not taking good care of you, yourself or following the directions and not feeling. Yeah. So like, let's say we decide to do veneers. You would come in here, I do that feeling at the same time, just take care of it all at the same time. Can I get a coat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, do you like your bottom teeth? Uh, well, what, it, it would just show more on like the top, not the veneers. 
Yeah. It's just the top is good. Mm -hmm. Plus the bottom are already pretty straight. Okay, cool. And <laughs> Chris plans with the mirrors. Oh yeah. <laughs> Gonna yeah. get more DM. That's it. They're gonna be so nice. They're gonna be so nice. <laughs> Wait, I ain't ready. <laughs> what are these Ray Bans or? They're uh, old beasts. <laughs> these are um, X ray goggles. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, polish him right now. Uh -huh. We'll polish his teeth. This is Profi Paste. It's pretty much gonna clean up the surface of the, the teeth so we can get them in uh, whitening. This is Steven, you know. Just just Madden, you know, Steven and Chris. You know. Very nice. Sometimes they call me Christian, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Christian without the H. <laughs> yeah, I did see that. I was going to say, wait, is it Christian? Yeah. Is, does your family call you Christian? Um, is it Christian or Chris? It's Chris. Chris. You want to throw on some music for right now or some Netflix? Some Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny? <laughs> got Bad Bunny. Yeah, some, just some Joe Maynard. Yeah. When I cool, when I'm in your town, I'm sliding straight on you. Say you with the ass, feels like ooh. I'm missing my show guts, like ooh ooh. ooh, ooh. But Nancy, I can copy some, put you in Fendi. Fendi. I ain't no trip, but this is tricky. tricky. Watch me turn this man into a milli. To a milli. Yeah. Watch me miss this Henny with the Remy. Is you slide? You know what it is. You know we are here. We the industry. And I just got my teeth whitened. <laughs> Matches my shirt, you know. So thank you, I appreciate you thank for doing you. this for me. Of you know, course. make sure to check out, check her out. Come it's through Dr. Mission Vida. Viejo, you know, and you know, get your teeth whitened or any other services you like. Make sure you come check them out. I'm posted up with my guys. We some friends, we can catch a little vibe. She fine.